Hello, I'm Annie, and today we went to the National Coalition for the Homeless, and we heard four speakers talk, and I focused specifically on Candy, who was originally from Panama and moved to the States when she turned eight, and she talked about how during her childhood she was very theatrical and she loved telling stories, so she wanted to go into acting and always thought she wanted to be an actress or movie producer, something big like that. Um, but then the summer she went into her senior year, she worked at a hospital and followed nurses and doctors and learned all about that. And she um, loved how the nurses were, like did so much to help everybody. And so um, she decided to go and get a nursing degree um, from Marymount and then GW. Um, but then she started noticing that she started growing distant from her family, her friends, and it took her a while, it took her nine years to figure out what was wrong with her, but she was finally diagnosed with um, fibromyalgia, depression, and chronic fatigue, and so that was really hard on her, and then after she was diagnosed with all of this, her husband left her, and she had a nervous breakdown and she sort of lost everything but she tried to be strong for her and her son and she tried to keep it all afloat but she couldn't manage to do that so her son had to go away and she lived in a shelter a women's shelter um, but she was so embarrassed that she couldn't even tell any of her family so her family didn't know that she was in the shelter and one of the big problems that she talked about that a lot of people in the shelter faced was lack of affordable housing which is something that we talked about in class um, is something that is the biggest problem for homeless people um, they um, like lack of affordable housing they could be like fine have enough money but they just don't have enough money to afford a house so she lost everything. She lost photos of her son, her jewelry, a lot of her clothes. But the great thing about Candy was that she kept such an optimistic view and she was so positive. And she knew that um, she, like, something good was going to come of it. So one day she went with one of her friends and um, they were taking a test. And someone came up to them and said, Do you want to fill out a form? for possible housing um, and so then she filled it out and then a few days later um, somebody from the friendship um, place called her and said that she could live in an apartment and so um, friendship place is um, housing that they work with the housing first approach so they try to give people a place to homeless people a place to live so it's a program that it doesn't fix everybody's problems, but it is a program that works to end homelessness. And so she really um, felt so, she kept such a strong mind, and so um, she really wanted everybody to take away from the talk that everybody can make a difference, and she really said, um, don't be afraid to be your badass self. Thank you.